Hello, I'm Greg, and it's time for another Tunnel Take. Yeah, I'm down here to a, uh, a rest stop. I had to, I've got to go up north. I'm off of I-95 here right now. But anyway, um, almost to the Virginia border to give an estimate. Um, yeah, let me show you. Well, I got the bike here, and it's a uh, it's a um, uh, Yamaha Striker is the name of it. A Yamaha Striker, I think it's a 2011, I believe. And I and I went to go get the new back tire put on it, and it failed the inspection. And um, so it looks like I need to get some new front fork seals. I've been knowing the front fork seals have been leaking for a long time, just getting oily down there around the front brake, and it's not safe and all that good stuff. Anyway, I still got front brakes fine. But anyhow, um, yeah, here's a little view of the rest stop area here. And a little view of what I got going on here. I just stopped to a smoke shop while ago and got some Stanwell vanilla. You know I'm an aromatic guy, so you know the vanilla kind of kind of turns me on. And uh, I'm gonna be smoking this here pipe. The pipe I got from Abby's, Abby's I believe is the name of it, uh, in uh, in Nightdale, about a couple years ago maybe or something, year and a half, year probably two years ago. And um, great little pipe. Uh, come to find out uh, the owner of the store had made this pipe I didn't know when I bought it he wasn't there his dad was in the shop running the shop and um, and I went back about a year after I bought it and uh, he said he said yeah yeah you know that pipe you bought he knew I was because I guess he watched some of my videos and uh, I said yeah yeah I got it I got the one I got from here right and he said yeah he said I built that and he said I, I said oh holy smokes I didn't think it was a, uh, a Nording because it was it, it was in a Nording sock and a Nording box. That would, that's what his dad gave me with it, you know. Anyway, he said he said no, nah, no, nah, it wasn't Nording. It was it was one that I uh, that I made and I and I put this uh, this long stem on is what I did. Anyway, so uh, yeah, and and got my my green shirt. The only reason I wear a long sleeve shirt when I'm riding like this is just to keep from getting so sunburned. And that's, that's the only reason. Of course, it's green and it's, it's bright and people can see me. I want to be seen when I'm on a bike. There's no question about it. I want to be seen. And there's my my green helmet down there and pipe bag with all kinds of goodies in it. And anyway, uh, uh, the Johnny P. I'll try to get a link to his uh, last video. He has just finished a pipe case for me. And, uh, man, it, it should be the ultimate case for me, I must say. Um, it'll eliminate having to take the bag and stuff like that i think i'll be able to get my couple of church wardens in it a jar of tobacco um uh be able to put my um my tripod right on top of it and uh right, right in, in in the case it's about four and a half inches thick something like that 70 inches long so it's going to look it's more like, like you said it's more like a trumpet case more than anything but uh but maybe i'll be able to ha hold everything i got in it yeah, that's the, that's the that's the that's my my quest that was my desire from the start with from, from the get-go on that anyway yeah let's uh let's check this stuff out stanwell vanilla while i'm opening this thing up um okay good section I'm getting mostly Virginias and and uh, alcohol topping. Yeah, it's it's Virginias and alcohol topping is what I'm getting. Woo. There's not much vanilla that I'm that I'm smelling. Ha. Huh. Okay. The looks of the tobacco is just like some of the Smoker Pride. Smoker's Pride, uh, uh, Cavendish, you know, vanilla Cavendish and, um, and, and cherry and that sort of thing. Looks just like it. A lot of real darks and a lot of real lights. So it must be a lot of Virginias and a lot of Cavendish mixed in. Moisture content is perfect. Oh man, I just love it when the moisture content is like it should be. Let's pack it up here. You know, I've been watching some videos. I've been watching videos for a while, and people would 
talk about um, emission controls on your for your car. You know, when you go to go get your car inspected, they hook this uh, their 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 computer system, the state computer system, into your uh, data port, and they can tell and they can tell what your vehicle's doing, whether or not it needs uh, servicing of some kind. If there's a sensor bad, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll show a code of some kind. And um, in Greenville, they eliminated that. I think it still applies for Raleigh, the Raleigh area, I believe. But um, I'm glad they eliminated that thing, y'all. Because uh, for poor folks, it is, it's a struggle to own a vehicle anyway. And uh, most of the vehicles I owned 10 years ago, when we first got to Greenwood, were like $800 vehicles, you know, $1,000 vehicles and stuff like that. And today you can't get a vehicle that's on its last leg for under 2,500, you know. And, um, and uh, the vehicles I had, uh, there was something wrong with the, um, the uh, data port system, the, the computer that ran that thing. So it would show up one particular code well, I would go get it inspected, and, and, and it would show that code up. Some, some sensor, and it was always a sensor, you know. And, um, and the state of North Carolina at the time um, said, okay, the, the garage needs to replace the sensor, and you get a receipt for the replacement of the sensor. I got a gnat buzzing around me. And, and if, if the code doesn't go out, and, and and it still fails the inspection the, the the shop worker takes the car and and drives it to the highway patrol office they be sure they're, they're, they look under the hood or why, wherever it's at and 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 be sure that the, the part has been actually replaced and they need to see the receipt that where I bought where I bought the part and for a hundred dollars you can have that inspection waived so every time I go to get an inspection, it was $15, $25, whatever it is to get an inspection. Then another $100 on top of that. I'm like, dang, you just kill it. Just kill, 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 you know. Anyway. So um, so they, they eliminated that. I'm glad they did that. Poor folks has uh, got it bad enough as it is, you know. Shoot. Instead of getting just beat up on by the state. Of course, the state ain't got nothing to Nothing gets beaten up on somebody. Stanwell vanilla. Ain't too much vanilla about it. This is like a, what I call a crossover blend. You know, it's uh, they're, they're trying to give a non-aromatic a little bit of flavor, that, that sort of thing. But not enough to really make it a full-fledged aromatic. I'm glad I brought my torch lighter. Torch lighters are awesome when they're in wind blowing. Fabulous. They're good without wind blowing. I mean, unless you're just the type of person that just loves the process of lighting a, a pipe and constant relights, you know, you like that process, you know, you like your matches and your particular type lighter, you know, you like using it. A, uh, a torch, a torch eliminates as much of that process of lighting as you can <laughs> because it's just so fast. And like I say, they talk about torches are too hot for the briars. Just don't point the tor torch at your at your at the wood. Not a bad tobacco, but uh. Not much uh. Not much vanilla, that's for sure. Stanwell vanilla. If you're, if you're a type of guy that doesn't like them 
major blasting um, uh, aromatics, you might need to try it. I was getting my hair cut the other day, and um, my uh, she's a neighbor of mine. She lives about two or three rows behind my house in the subdivision there, and. Um, We know one another pretty well, and um, uh, I did a remodel, kitchen remodel, and some other, a lot of other work for her. And she's a she's a, a, a salon lady in in the mall, in in, in J C Penney's here in uh, in uh, Greenville. And we were sitting there. She was doing my hair, and uh, she was standing up there, you know, behind me, cut my hair and all. And so people got hair back here. <laughs> and um, and uh, over the loudspeaker, over the loudspeaker, there, there's this lady talking. You know, she's rambling on about the specials and stuff, whatever you know, the store. And uh, she gets to this the spot where she says, "And don't forget to uh, pick up a copy of the book, God is a Woman." Oh, she was really excited when she said it to her. I started chuckling in the chair. The lady cutting my hair there. I'm not going to mention her name. I don't know if she wants me to. Uh, she, she says, hmm. That's a heck of a thing to say over the loudspeaker. <laughs> I said, yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> oh, God is a woman. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. We gotta remember that. Um, one, there's some major things to remember. And uh, Christianity has been so feminized in this country, for sure, that proper doctrine is not even taught. Not even taught, you know. Man was created in God's image. Woman was created in man's image. Woman was taken out of man. Let's remember stuff like that, you know. What gender are angels? You ever see, see a picture of an angel that's a woman? You can pretty much figure that's a demonic angel. That's a, one of the fallen angels. Ain't that, they, there's no uh, uh, angels that are women. Not God's angels. Feminized Christianity, and people are eating it up out there. Sucking it up like a milkshake. Let them suck it up. I hope they get everything they deserve. I really do. I hope I get everything I deserve. Not a bad tobacco, it's pretty good. It's getting better as it, as it smokes. Yeah, that admission, that admission uh, test stuff when you get your car inspected was, well, it was just turning into one of them things that was just, uh, uh, depressing just about, you know. You didn't know if the thing was going to pass. And if it did, you didn't know how much it was going to cost you. Well, I've had two sensors out, you know. Or two, two false um, codes that it was given, you know. One huge money game out there, y'all. I tell you what. Don't let anybody think tell you it's not. It's not all about a dollar. This country, this country is totally eat up with the love of money. There's no question about it to me. They will more for themselves, less for you. Of 
corporations, government. Authority, authorities and authoritarians. Full of people that will sell your rights out for a paycheck in a heartbeat. Sell your rights out for a paycheck in a heartbeat. I watched a video of a of uh, social services, I guess, doing a wellness check on a lady. And uh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a link to this to this video in the in the description. Cops were there, uh, social services were there, or why do why do you call them people that children services type things, you know? And uh, after you watch the video, go watch the pinned. Go watch the pinned. Uh, comment in there and it's by the lady that they were looking for and then read and then, then download the the uh, the um, the indictment that she had against against the people that were doing that to them holy smokes yeah she's got some good lawyers no doubt about it you sell your rights out for a paycheck all in the name of good, because they're God and you're the devil. The people are the devil, right? In, in, that, in that in that realm, there's no question about it. There's some of them push against that stuff, but not many of them. Not many. Big difference between trying a uh, saw flame lighter in a, in a little bit of breeze and a torch, that's for sure. Well, I guess I'm hitting up the street. Just stop here to get me a bag of chips. I got my water with me. Or flavored water. It's, it's carbonated flavored water, really, is what it is. No calories. Pleasant spot to smoke, that's for sure. I'm enjoying this. You guys have a great day, alright? I'll see you later. Bye.